front to back is insanely strong right now, so I'm a bit worried for SK if this goes late. I um, mean, this is uh, BDS's tried and true, right? This is exactly what we saw from them last week. This is the formula that they mostly found their success August with. 2023, and you can be left waiting four, four and a half months before you get to see a competitive game of League of Legends again. So uh -oh. just hit with the root caller immediately, rooted up as well. And that's Talia buried under the rocks that she loves so much already by BDS. Not a great start for SK. Incredible for BDS, Incredible, though. Incredible. Sirtis has the ult, but he's really low on mana. I don't know if they can fight this. The, the Talia is really weak in this scenario. The bot lane's sprinting the up here. The crab gave him six. Yeah, he got the smite on the crab to get six, but... Daisy comes Actually, down. Got the, the mark, yeah, you're Nature's right. Grass coming out as well. Sirtis looking for some damage. The nine's the root, the knockback, as well as Doss comes in with the quickness. Adam locked down at 400 HP. It's irrelevant, keeps him at bay. And immediately, Shao is the first to fall. SK find the kill. The Rift held secured, though, by BDS. The eye still sits there. And I don't think anyone from BDS is going to take oh, a trip Marcoon. in to try and pick it up. Flash forward from Marcoon into the knockup. Adam will get the Rift held in exchange for his support. A life, a good knockback though with the Emperor's Divide means there's a one-for-one -one trade so far. Doss dashes away. Adam trying to come in to see if there's anything more to be found here in the mid lane, but Doss will once again use that battle dance to escape. I think the overall play is BDS favorite. It looks really bad, of course, because they got a kill there, SK. It makes a lot of sense why, like, we're seeing a very slow game. Like, there's a lot of weight for these players. Like, it would mean a lot to be oh, able to have the opportunity. Good jump away from Irrelevant. Flash forward from LeBov, they're investing a lot into making sure that this Nar goes nowhere. Nuke gets his second kill of the game. Oh, I needed to flash the hook there, did irrelevance. I'm not sure if LeBrov would have hit the wall and he could ult him anyway, but I don't think he would have, so maybe SK looking to fight back a bit here. Two shot Bosch comes down. There's oh, the charm, there's the quickness, there's the Weaver's wall as well, and Adam is locked up in here alongside LeBrov. LeBrov will fall first, all out comes out from Adam, the exhaust goes down, but already X kick has fallen as well as Adam gets another knockback, another trigger seed, and another bit of healing to boot. They just can't take down this Cassante as BDS clean it up. I mean, Mark Kuhn can't really move, can he? It's surprising they, they, they decide to engage this in a 4v5. Maybe they're just gonna dash away from it. Good poke onto LeBron, but the Dragon's already been started up by BDS. Let's get a late to this party. Irrelevant has flash though, only halfway towards the Mega Nard. Daisy stepping forward, there's the root caller as well. Weaver's wall has been used, the dragon already taken by BDS. It's now SK. Do you go in or do you flee? Irrelevant goes into Mega Nard, but Adam, a frontline for BDS, makes it so tricky for SK to approach. Oh, this redemption again, it's just healing BDS, sustaining them through this fight. Look at Marcoon though. There's the niche grass, Crowny, Crowny, Crowny's rooted, cleanses. Featherstorm out as well, extra kick rooted as well. As BDS look for a re-engage, can't quite find it. Oh, LeBrov. Great knockback onto LeBrov. The depth charge coming across the wall as well, and BDS have lost one. Nuke, Shao, and Crowny seem to want to retreat. Adam was a little bit further forward than the rest of his team, but in the end, the recall timers will come out. Smart to re-engage from SK with the Maokai ult. Crowny overusing his tools there. The cleanse was enough, but it's LeBrov that walks up and gets caught. Crowny doesn't have that ult now, or oh. the cleanse. And Crowny locked up, knocked back with the seismic shove, and the shutdown goes over to the Maokai. That's Baron. That's Baron. That That's might just be, be a Baron, Baron as you say. TP comes in from Irrelevant. Nuke has pushed in the top lane. Will BDS contest? SK are running out of time. They need to force this down. Ezreal almost got those three items. How do they fight this, though? Irrelevant's getting close to that Mega Nar. Nuke's on the flank. It's going to be on Nuke to find a big push, I think, here. On to SK. They need to go soon. Irrelevant. Building up that Mega Nar. Worked Earth coming out as well as the Brovers had to flash away. Daisy with the knockup, but the Mega Nar's not really where you want to put your damage down. The Brov locked up, rooted with the Nature's Grasp, and Irrelevant still on the chase. Good root with the root caller, and the Brov able to dodge to the side of the true shot. Baron secured for SK, and the Brov escapes with his life. Wow. The entirety so, of drafts uh, because we made that single mistake. Obviously, there may be adaptations this as could we, be it. once again a small mistake is made. LeBrov has no flash of his own. Knocked back with a seismic staff. And now the TP coming in from Adam. He's got to do Cassante things for 100 years as he pulls back Markoon. Adam dashing back in already. A double kill for Exit Kick. And now BDS, only three members strong left to try and survive through this. Irrelevant has flash as Nah. Will he go for any more? Doss still on the flank. They need to look for a Baron start here, SK, but they need to push out the waves. The supports are dead, but BDS still have a lot of damage to work with, and SK are missing a lot of lockdown, and they don't have a smite, so the Baron start looks tempting, but SK aren't going for it. I think SK are making the right decision here. Exakick immediately moves over to mid, while the rest of SK zone BDS away, giving them access to this tier 2 tower. It's an easy objective to take, a bit more gold in their favor, and now they can... Could have evened it out at 2-2. Two two. SK now on the front foot. Only a thousand oh, gold between really good. the two. A great Weaver's Wall, as you say. Adam locked on one side, the bot tries to hook away. But there's just so much damage from SK. That's one. Adam able to dash, the redemption being used. Nuke with a good Emperor's Divide keeps Dawson Ooh. irrelevant at bay. And BDS have put some damage back into SK. Good damage there from Nuke over the wall. 
Irrelevant, lost half his HP. Doss is going to quickly go back to base. A lot of ultimates were used there from SK, but a really nice ultimate from Certus, completely dividing BDS. Kedro, you said it earlier, they're going to have to find a way to separate them. But now 4v4, Doss is on his way back from base. The Baron has been started. Shio has Flash and Smite as well. QSS on Crowny with Cleanse. Mikhail's on cooldown, Redemption yeah, on cooldown. Development has Mega and Flash. Adam goes in with the Pathfinder. Nuke's going to put a shoulder down to try and do a little bit more work, but the Baron already secured, and now Nuke has to jump away. Adam locked up with an R. The Wallop to follow as well, and Adam is down. BDS running for the hills as SK look for the Ocean Drake. SK are dissecting BDS so perfectly. He's taking a melt through this dragon. SK are not in position right now. They don't have a position to split them up either. It's just Marcoon. Can he just flash in and steal it? I think it's just the dead. TP. It's already gone. The Ocean Soul secured. The Weaver's wall behind now. It's Certus. Jumps into the battle. Irrelevant's gonna get rooted up. The GA already propped up with a stopwatch of his own. Nuke on the wrong side of this fight, but already they killed off Irrelevant, and now the hook just wide. Extra kick all on him to put the damage down now as he dashes across the wall. SK lose a out of it. BDS have gotten to the point where they've scaled. They're happy. They're gonna have Void Staff on base with Nuke, and they're gonna try and fight this Baron. It's gonna have to be a Hail Mary steal from Marcoon. Root Caller comes in. Adam. Trying to just distract SK. Pathfinder in. There's the all out as well as Marcoon's pulled back. Hook onto Certus. The quickness coming out from Dos, but he's already down to half HP. An incredible charm from him onto Nuke as the exhaust has fallen as well. Certus will fall. The shutdown for BDS. Dos and Exekick trying to retreat. The root caller will land, but it's only Shao on the chase up towards that top side. The rest of BDS are pushing in the mid lane. A single mistake from SK could very well have cost them the game. Barroned up. Five members alive with the Ocean Soul too. 40. Two seconds on Certus. BDS are going to continue this push. Can they close it out here? We wondered if it would just be a single moment that costs a team the game. Well, right now, SK, their backs against the rope as Daisy will fall. The root caller coming out as well. Oh. <laughs> the redemption heals everyone back up to full. Ocean Soul doing work as well for BDS. Extra kick comes back out. Four items complete on him. The TM out as well will help a little bit with this wave clip. I think they can up in 14 seconds. Any TP wards for him? There's a couple. If they do want to look for the flank, Nature's Grass not available for Marcoon. Used earlier in the fight. The quickness about 15 seconds away for Doss. If SK want to re-engage, will Certus TP in? I think it's not worth it. No, they're not going to take it much at this point in the game. Everyone is getting close to full build. It's going to come down to whether or not SK can stop this siege. A good wall will buy a little bit of time as Irrelevant takes a tower in the top lane. Iron buffs off in uh, 30 seconds. They're going to have one more wave here. BDS get his inhibitor. SK might have to give. I think they might just have to agree to drop this one. But there's the Maokai ult. And I think BDS are going to keep going, though. A couple of roots. Unraveled Earth as well has been used. Adam on that front line. SK's poke doesn't really mean too much in the face of the Trigger Seed shields and the Ocean Soul as Doss almost hooked up. Labrov looked for him, couldn't quite find him. Doss trying to keep the Doss. wave away. There's the quickness, but Doss is now going to dash into them all. Already he's fallen. The Emperor's Divide will knock SK back. Adam goes all out as Irrelevant goes all the way to the grave alongside his compatriots. The Nexus Towers fall and BDS go 1-0 up. BDS play the scaling game and SK, there is so many steps right, but you make one mistake up against Azir Zaya Ivrin and that's it. You lose every 5v5. The game just becomes so complicated and so difficult to play. And uh, yeah, that engagement also the end.